up everybody had some of you guys request that you see the shark ai in action for an object avoidance test so here you go go ahead and grab some popcorn and i hope you guys enjoy this comedy so it starts off pretty good sees the shoe turns around oh wow, i would avoid the sock and then it just goes absolutely downhill so i'll explain at the end why this thing absolutely fails this test miserably because it does say on the package will avoid objects and it actually shows a picture of it and it makes a big claim that it's really good at avoiding objects then they put one of those little stars and in small print i'll wait to then and explain that but go ahead and enjoy this i'll let this go it's just a few minute video but i mean as you can see absolute joke of a claim that they put on their robot i wish they would not have claimed that this had any type of object avoidance whatsoever and i'll explain again at the end why they put that claim in there at all So it's funny to me how they call it object avoidance at all. To me, it looks like it's actually looking for objects to hit. No reason for it to knock down that Windex bottle. And then, of course, these little socks and full-blown. That's a good-sized shoe for my kid. And it just absolutely runs right through it as if it's not even there. So once again, that claim is completely bogus. Do not buy this for that feature whatsoever. It is an absolute joke. Oh yeah, and this thing must really like dog poop because it actually seeked it out and now it's kind of running it over on purpose. Kind of crazy, um, but here's the test. Hope you guys enjoyed that test and let me explain to you why they even put that claim in there at all. All right, so as you saw, what a terrible job it did. They should not have this on the vacuum. Here's an actually picture on their website showing that it will avoid stuff, and it even points it out. Um, and then you saw at the bottom there, so bottom there it said as small as four inches. So to me, that's where the gimmick lies. It's really stupid. It's anything four inches or taller. It's going to be taller than the robot itself, and that LiDAR system on top is what's going to see it and avoid it which most other object avoiding robots, they have lidars or sensors in the front of the robot. That way they can see stuff that's actually in front of the robot, not just taller than it. And that's why those avoid objects so much better. Well, this didn't avoid it at all. Now, with all that being said, I will give it to Shark that this is their best version of any robot vacuum. It is on sale for $500. If you don't care about the if you don't care about the object avoidance, it's a pretty good vacuum overall. Five hundred dollars is kind of the price point that I would say would be the absolute maximum to pay for this. Um, personally, I would not buy this as my main vacuum. There's better options out there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. See ya.